do you have multiple 3D printer boards that you need to use? Either you want more steppers or just more outputs. Let me show you how to do it with Clipper. So I have a bunch of just random printer cards from either old printers or stuff that I've just bought on an impulse. Um, and when I built my scalable, I needed more than four or five outputs. So I did buy um, this monster, um, but I, I destroy it by destroying it. Um, I digress. Um, so what I did was I took my SKR mini E3, and then I took the old board from my Ender 3, and I put those together, and that's what's running my um, my scalable right now, and it works flawlessly. So I thought I would just make this video on how I did it and how you can do it too. So what I'm what I have is I have a laptop running Clipper, and I'll connect um, this SKR Pico and Mini um, E3 to my laptop. But this works just as well on a Raspberry Pi, a Banana Pi, Pi Zero, um, any any type of board that runs Clipper, as long as you have multiple USB inputs or you're running uh, UART, this works for all of them. So let's dig in and see how this works. Like I said, I'm going to use the... Um, SKR Pico and the SKR Mini E3 V2. Uh, does not matter which board you use. What you need to do is you need to flash Clipper onto them. And so I'll, I'm assuming that you know how to do that and that you've already done it. If not, uh, find a tutorial for your specific board, get it flashed and then come back here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect one just one of these boards so i'll connect my SKR pico and then we're moving on to the computer now with our SKR pico connected to my pi or in this case my laptop um, i've already set it up as you normally would uh, so if i go into my machine and my printer.config this is very empty at this moment so uh, bear with me. So you can see I have MCU and then I've just put a note on this so that I know that it's my Pico and then I've pasted in my ID as you normally would. So when I now connect my uh, SKR mini, um, I'll show you how I deal with that. So I'll connect it. So in PuTTY, what I'm just going to do is I'm, I'm going to do a ls and slash dev slash serial slash oops by dash id and I like to do a slash star and now I can can see my two different um, IDs. So in this case, it's super simple for me to see the different ones because my SKR Pico has the RP2040. Um, so I can see that that's my Pico. However, if you had two SKRs or you have two identical boards, the only difference would be in this uh, long ID. So you could read through these and try to find out which one is which. Um, but if you have two identical boards, it's practically impossible by just looking at this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug my board. So I've unplugged my SKR Mini and I'm going to run that command again. And now whatever you didn't unplug, that's the one showing up. So I'll plug my SKR Mini back in, run it again, and now I have both. So that's the easiest way, way for you to find out which one is which. Um, and it's, it's just that simple. You don't need to do anything advanced at all. Now, how do we control these in Clipper? So to add our second 
uh, MCU, in this case, my mini to my config, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new line and I'm going to put up a bracket and write MCU and a space. And then I'll give it, I'm giving this a name. So in this case, I'm just going to write mini because this is an SKR mini. And then on the next line, I'll do serial colon. And now I'll go into putty and I'm grabbing this uh, line and then I'll paste it. And like I did before, I'm going to make a note here and call it SKR mini. And that's it. So if I now press save and restart, um, this is a good way for me to see that I got both of the connections uh, right. And you can see that on the right here, I have my MCU and my MCU mini. So both of them are connected and both work in Clipper. So how do we separate the different pins in our uh, config? I'm going to just import some pins and I'll show you how to separate everything. So how do we configure Clipper to work with both of our boards? So in this setup, I'm using my SKR Pico as my main board. So it's going to run my SKR, my, sorry, my X and Y stepper or A and B on a core X, Y. And it's going to have two more outputs for either an extruder or other things. Uh, I'll be able to use all the pins as normal with this board. Now, and my SKR uh, mini, let me grab another one. Um, so my SKR mini is plugged in too, and you can see it in my config. I've added the um, serial. And now this second board is fully functional. I can use all the pins, all the th thermistors, the heater outputs, all of it. So what in this, in most cases, you're going to use all of your Z steppers on this, uh, try to keep them separate and you'll have some extra heater outputs. Uh, you have more thermistor inputs. You can use that for chamber temps or additional things. Uh, heater outputs are great for LEDs, by the way, uh, just high power LEDs. So how do we configure this in our, our printer.cfg? It's dead simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the name that we set for our second board. I called it mini. You can call it aux. You can call it aux board, Z board. The sky is the limit. You can call it whatever you want. So for my SKR Pico, all of my pins are set up normal. There's no need to change these because it's using the default MCU. If I scroll down to my Z stepper, this is where I need to make some changes. So what I need to change is in front of all of my name for the pins, I need to add mini and colon. So I'll paste mini and I'll add the colon. Now I'm lazy, so I'm just going to copy that again. And just in front of the next pin, I'll add mini and colon. Now on my enable pin, this is inverted. So I need to add it after the inverter so the exclamation mark in this mark in this case, I'll add it after that. So it's exclamation mark mini and then the pin. Same goes for my end stop. It's flipped. So I'll uh, add it after the uh, command for flipping. Same with my stepper Z. And that's it. So if you have additional fans, if you have LEDs connected, if you have uh, extra heaters. Just add the extra MCU name in front of your pin and you're golden. So let's save and restart. And we have up and running. Both of these boards are now connected and I can use all of the pins that I need to do. Uh, if it gives you any error, um, just make sure to go through your config, make sure it works on one board and then start config configuring it for the other board. So I hope that helped you. Um, it's really not that, uh, that difficult uh, to set up two or more boards. Um, so if you have boards, 
you're building a bigger printer or you just need extra inputs or outputs, that's the simple way to do it. So, um, meh. So, like, share, subscribe.